So how dangerous is porn really? Let's talk about it. Let's have a discussion. You know, let's have a deep discussion about this thing that they call um, pornography, you know, because I think we have to be open. You know, growing up, obviously growing up, you know, Christian and so forth and everything, you know, porn was always seen as, oh, this is the whole thing. Like, you know, what's XXX? This is this um, almost evil, wrongful thing to do or to be involved with. So I also, porn was always a thing put towards me as like, oh, don't come towards it. Um, these are heathens. These are sinful people. You know, what's it called? No sex before marriage. And if you have sex before marriage, that, that's a very sinful thing to do and, and so forth. And, but obviously, there always comes a time when you watch your first porn and it's like this crazy, exhilarating experience because like, oh my gosh, man, I'm doing something that, you know, I shouldn't be doing. And then there's that kind of, kind of buzz that you have whenever you see that's your first porn. Um, and then when you just go on and so forth and you watch more porn and everything, and then you now look at life and so forth, you then say to yourself that, because you know, because you now break things into basics, and I think that's what happens is that you know you just accept things when you're very young. But when you now grow older, you do more research, and your brain evolves, and you mature. You like say, wait a minute, let me actually readdress what I got told. What is porn? <laughs> porn are two people or a group of people, um, pretty much taking part in the act of having a baby, sex without actually having a baby. So what they're doing is what is biological and natural to most of us, which is having sex. That's what's that that's what porn is. So you say to yourself, okay, so why is there such a stigma of porn? Like almost if someone's that's that's why someone says, okay, I'm an adult film star. You know, and that's sort of like the kind of like, you know, much more respectable way to, to say it because Almost if you say, like, I'm a porn star or I do porn, you'll get shunned. As in, in particular societies, if you say that you do porn, you will be shunned and you will be looked at away and you will be judged a certain way. And my thing is, why? Why? Because my thing is that what makes... Because I think it's specifically for women. I think for guys, they're like, oh, okay, if you're a porn star. But I think for women as well, why is a particular woman, woman seen a certain way because she does porn, and another woman who doesn't do um, do do porn is seen a particular way, and she's seen it so much, much better and much more res respectful. Why is that? Because I think, again, it's, it's the whole thing of the outside in it. Because like, what you get told by society and so forth is that, you know, people who are porn stars are just trashy people who, you know, you're having sex with with many people. You're like you're you're a, you're a whore. You have whorish tendencies and and so forth, and by you taking porn means that you pretty much failed in society because that is not a respectable job or a vocation. My thing is this. Um, almost if a lot of the people who sort of stigmatize and attack people who do porn, secretly they watch porn themselves, and secretly they actually aspire to be those porn people. Because it's, 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 it's a funny thing, because I remember... So basically, for me, and I can even speak from experience, watching porn actually gave me confidence when having sex. You know, and I even went to a stage where I actually even, um, because I found him on an Instagram, thanks, Emil Pons, I said, bro, thank you. Because watching you and your techniques and so forth, when I went into and having sex, it gave me confidence. And I'll touch on that again because there is a there's an adverse effect on that. But for me, I was like, oh no, what? There was a great pause because I think it's gave me confidence of knowing what to do, how to operate, and just because sex and everything is very much it's about a state of mind. Everything is about a state of mind and about being in the moments and be and tuning your mind into the kind of moments to really have great sex. And I you learn a lot of that from how people approach the, the point, but I'll, I'll get to, to the adverse effects. And I think what is an interesting thing, again, that the, the, the guy said is that we are pros. 
we're just like, whether it's a Neymar, Cristiano, Messi, um, Philip Lam, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, like um, Federer, we are pros. We are professionals at this. <laughs> you know, we are the Serena Williams of our sports. We are the Tiger Woods of our sports, which is porn, because we actually do it a lot better than most guys do. <laughs> you know, so um, you should be sort of respected for that. So that is a particular way of viewing it. No, these are professionals. You know, and they do it and are able to execute sex a lot better than other people. Because I think it's all about culture. Because I think if you go to France, I think the way French people view sex is natural. Hence why I think in France, they rate violence films a lot higher than they do films with sexual content. So I think if you're 12 or 15, you can watch very sexually suggestive films. But in other societies, like I think in America, Oh, you can go in and watch a violence movie and so forth, but a sexually suggestive film? No, 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 that's very taboo. So it's a very much a cultural thing. But there is an, an adverse to porn, and I say that as well. You know, and I think it's even a conversation that I had with some people about it. I think even then it is that um, sometimes what you see isn't what you can do in reality. Because remember, like, porn is they are creating a scenario for you. They are creating an aesthetic. That's the whole thing. So, because obviously some some point in everything is like, okay, it's just real. But a lot of it, especially the higher productions, is we're creating a scenario, we're creating this sexual scenario, we're creating a heightened scenario just to add to the sensation and the entertainment of the viewer. So you now sort of try to copy that into your sex life you could find that your partner's like, wait, wait what? No. <laughs> because, no, this is real life. This is the pornographic world that is like a movie, you know, where they set things up and they play into characters and they play into scenarios. So sometimes you now think that you can do what the sponsor's doing in the bedroom. Eh, it ain't going to work. Um, But I think, obviously, I think the, the, the big thing that people have had with porn is the whole thing with AIDS and HIV. But Murians, I think they may have been only about three or four scares throughout a long time. So for an industry where so much of it is done, obviously, unprotected and and so forth, they've not, they've actually only, they've, there's not, basically, there has never been such a big outbreak that has completely shut down the industry. Obviously, they've had a few scares with it, so many shots it down, but they've never had an, an outbreak of HIV that's completely shut down the whole in industry. So... I just think that, you know, um, also also as well, don't watch too much porn. <laughs> you know, that's, that's another thing as well. Too much of, of anything can harm you. And I think if you watch too much porn, eh, that can be harmful for, for you as, as, as well. So, yeah, you know, you try and watch it in moderation. But I think, yeah, like, my, like, porn, again, for me, porn is just having sex, you know. And then this now goes back to the whole notion of what are your beliefs, because there are people who believe that having sex before marriage is a sin and is sinful. I just don't believe in that. For people that believe in that, cool. I'm not going to say you're wrong. I'm not going to um, chastise you for it, but I'm like, okay, cool. But for me, I just don't believe that because obviously I have my views on marriage and the kind of falsity and fast that marriage is. So for me, sex before or after marriage, yeah, it doesn't really mean anything to me. But my thing is that, yeah, I just think that, I think, see, I don't know whether the world is, is changing. Now that we're in 2020, internet's more readily available and so forth, and whether views towards porn stars or people in porn is different. But I just think that... It, I don't know why people view sex as taboo. Now, look, here's the thing, though. There is an age... There should be an age where you shouldn't watch porn. Hence why there's, there's an age... Because you, do not, you cannot enforce porn... Because you, 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 show, you show porn to like a 7, 8, 9-year-old. Who knows what the hell... That's gonna do. But again, that's something to think think about. A fifteen or a sixteen year old watching porn, will it affect them? A twelve or thirteen year old watching porn. I think yeah, I think I, mean, I think I watched my first one porn when I was like twelve or thirteen, I think. So for a twelve or thirteen year old watching porn, but that, is that having an adverse effect? I mean, so what is the cutoff point? I don't because I think eighteen 
it's quite a high cutoff point, you know, because trust me, especially now, the guys who are 15, 16, who have kids, <laughs> guys have kids at 16, guys are having sex at 16, 15, 14, trust me, it's, it's, it's happening. So, should, is 18 being a cutoff point for porn, is that being too high? You know, so, and again, that's even another thing that I may even want to talk about is that violence, you know, violence films and what, how much of an effect do violence films have and V and violence in in video games and how much should filmmakers or game or video game people be blamed for that kind of stuff? So, but yeah, but I just think yeah, for to run just to talk about this whole thing about porn. I even want to hear your your, your guys' thoughts. Is that like again in moderation? But I think watching porn can be helpful, especially when you watch the best to do it. So you can have a kind of general idea as to what you should be doing when you're in the bedroom. And sometimes it can help because I think even some couples even say that um, they'd watch porn. A lot of couples would watch porn to, to together and that could even sort of help them in their sex lives or so. But I think it's using bits. You can't replicate exactly what you see in a porn film. That's stupid. It ain't going to happen, <laughs> okay? Because again, these are pro professionals and they're doing it under different guises, you know. Real life isn't the same as the porn world. Because remember, in the porn world, these people, they don't love each other. You know, most of them are not in a relationship. They're doing it for work, pro pro professionally. And you see, and see him. So maybe that is some people's issue with this is that they feel that you should only have sex with someone that you're in love with. And just having sex for the sake of having sex is sort of diminishing the, san the sanctity of love and the sanctity of people coming together. And my things are cool. If you have that view, that's fine. But for me, I just feel that sex is like eating really good food. You know, it's just an enjoyable activity. You know, I don't think that sex is this special, very unique kind of thing that must be. I just think that, hence why, since why I don't see, I've never understood the stigma that people have had with porn because, yeah, sex is a natural thing. I mean, if you want kids, you have to have sex, you know? So if you if you want to produce an everyone sex, and all living creatures have sex. All living creatures procreate everyone does every living creature procreates so that is a very natural thing of beings that live on this world so yeah i've just never really understood that i've never really um understood how and and and, and i think even to this day and i just think it's just kind of it's people some certain societies and people and cultures are just entrenched in that belief and today we'll still look down on people who are in porn you know, and I, and I said again, it is definitely much harder for women than it is men because I just think that you know, women. Because again, for me, I'll say right now, like if I had a, a, a seat, ah, now, now this is the crazy thing. As much as I'm in support of porn, as as much as I'm like, hey man, if you're a porn star, I respect, I respect that as a vocation, I respect that as a job, I respect that as a profession. I call it a profession. It's not just oh, you're sleazy. No, if you're a porn star, that is a pro profession. You get paid to do um, sex to a standard that people enjoy. Because, again, it's supply and demand. You know, people like to watch me do this. I'm giving the people what, what, what they want. But my thing, though, is this. Is that if I had a daughter, there is no way that I'd allow her to do porn. Like, usually, I want to do porn. I'm like, that's not happening. So, am I hypocritical? As much as I would have, I have no issue with any man or woman, and I do not judge for a second anybody who does porn, I actually wouldn't want my daughter to be doing porn. Or any of my female relatives, I'd be like, no, 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 you're not, you're not doing that. It's weird, but that's just my thing, that I wouldn't actually want any of them to be involved in any of that stuff, man. So, um, yeah. But yeah, so, Again, guys, tell me what, because again, I want to just know everyone's thoughts. That's what do you think about porn? But specifically, what do you think about people who are in porn? Or even more specifically, if let's say you had, whether you have a friend or specific, if you had have a friend, specifically a female friend who said that they were in porn, how would you perceive them? Would your perception of them be different if they told you that they're in the porn industry? You know, that's something very interesting to think about. Guys, remember to like the vid, 
Remember to subscribe. Remember to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. Well, mainly on Twitter. Have a pot. Stay tuned for more of that talking discussion content. Peace out.